In this video, I'm going to fully sketch y equals minus 20x squared take away 30x plus 140 over 10x take away 29. So this means I want to find out all of the vertical asymptotes, any points where it crosses the x-axis, anywhere where it crosses the y-axis. I want to work out if there are oblique asymptotes. I want to work and their equations. And I want to work out uh, any stationary points as well. OK, so absolutely everything that we can do to get this sketch. So first thing to do, factorize that numerator. OK, so uh, minus 20, minus 30 and 140. Right. So we've got uh, two and minus seven halves. OK, so we've just got to be a little bit careful here. So x take away 2 and 2x plus 7. OK, now obviously that will not expand to make that numerator. That will expand to get me 2x squared. So I need to multiply this through by minus 10 Okay, on the outside to get it fully factorised. So just to double check, we're going to get minus 10 times minus 2, so 20 times 7, which makes the 140. So yeah, that's all going to work out. Over 10x take away 29. Right, let's start going in with the sketch. Right, vertical asymptotes. They'll exist when the denominator is 0, so that will be at 29 tenths. So 29 tenths, 2.9. OK, right. Where is it crossing the x-axis? That's when the numerator is 0. So that will be at 2 and at minus 7 halves. So 2 and minus 7 halves, so minus 3.5. OK, next. Um, how about uh, where it's crossing the y-axis? Now, that's when x is 0. So we're going to get 140 over minus 29. So 140 over minus 29. So let's just put it as minus, minus 140 over 29. Right, what is that approximately? So about 4.8 to one decimal place. OK? Right. So next up, um, let's go for um, an oblique asymptote. OK, let's go for that. Right, so I'm going to need to divide the numerator by the denominator. So uh, 10x and minus 29. We need minus 20x squared. So that'll have to be minus 2x. Minus 2x times minus 29 um, is 58x. We need minus 30x. So I'm going to have to take away 88x. So 10x into that goes... Um, so I'll have minus 88 over 10, which is minus 44 over 5. Right, then we've got uh, 44 over 5 times by 29, so that's going to be 1, 2, 7, 6 over 5. Now we need 140, so 140 take away that, and that will be minus 576 over 5, and so that will be my remainder. So this is equal to minus 2x take away 44 over 5, Take away 576 over 5 lots of 10x take away 29. OK, right. So that means that my oblique asymptote is at y equals minus 2x take away 44 over 5. Now, 44 over 5 is 8.8. .8, so we are below this point here, as you would probably expect. Negative gradient. OK, so uh, whereabouts is that crossing the x-axis, actually? 
got to be to the left of minus seven halves. So 44 over five, and then divide by two. So yeah, 4.4, minus 4.4. Right, that's fine. So it's gonna look something like this. That's, uh, let's put it like that. So that's minus 44 over five. And that was uh, minus 88 over five. No, sorry, not minus 88 over five. So 44 over five, 22 over five. Okay, right, so we've got that, and now we would be able to sketch the curve, because it's got to be doing something like this, okay? Um, I'm probably going to have to put that a little bit over here, just, so I, just because of the shape. Of my curve, something like that in order to tend towards that line there, we'll bring that up a bit as well, minus 140 over 29, just so you kind of get the sweep of the curve. Right, okay, now stationary points, okay, so I'm going to put this equal to k, so I'm just going to get rid of that bit now. So minus 20x squared, take away 30x plus 140, over 10x, take away 29 is equal to k. So minus 20x squared, take away 30x plus 140, is going to be equal to 10kx, take away 29k. I'm going to move everything onto the right-hand side. So 0 equals 20x squared. I'm adding 30x to both sides, so plus 10k plus 30 times x. And I'm going to subtract 140 from both sides. We've got minus 29k, take away 140. So for stationary points, I need the discriminant to be equal to 0. So 10k plus 30, all squared, take away 4 lots of a times by c has got to be equal to 0. Right, so we're going to have 100k squared plus uh, 10k times 30, so 300, twice, so 600k, plus 900. Then plus 4 times 20 times 29, so 2,320k. And then 4 times 20 times 140, so plus... 11,200 equals 0. Right, so we've got the 100k squared. We've got, uh, so 600 and, da, 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 da. so 2, I don't know why I needed the calculator to do that. There's too many numbers on the board. Uh, 900 uh, plus that, so 1, 2, 1, 0, 0. I don't want to make any silly little error here. Right, okay, so now I want to factorise this, okay? Um, so, I divide through by um, 20 first. I mean, I know I can get my calculator to do this for me. I'm just kind of trying to do it as far as possible. So plus 605 equals 0. So I've divided through by 20. Right, now I'm going to put it in my quadratic solver. 5, 1, 4, 6, and 605. So we get 5, so k plus 5, and 5k plus 121. 
So k equals minus 5 or k equals minus 121 over 5. Right, so I need to find now the, the x values that go with that. Right, so when k is equal to minus 5, I'm going to substitute that into this, uh, sorry, this quadratic here. So 0 equals 20x squared. Then we've got uh, minus 50 plus, minus 50 plus those, so minus 20x. And then, so take away 29 times minus 5, take away 140, is plus 5. So divide through by 5, and we get 4x squared, take away 4x plus 1. So 0 is equal to 2x, take away 1 squared. So x is equal to 1 half. So we've got one stationary point at a half minus 5. Right, now the second stationary point. So when k is equal to minus 121 over 5, we get 0 is equal to 20x squared. Right, then 10 lots of minus 121 over 5 uh, plus 30 is minus 212 x and then minus 29 times minus 121 over 5 take away 140 so plus 2809 over 5 okay I'm going to pop that straight into my quadratic solver 20 without trying to do anything to it 2809 over 5 and we get um, x is equal to 53 over 10, so 5.3. So 53 over 10 minus 121 over 5 is a stationary point. OK, so we've got the 1 half minus 5. So 1 half minus 5 is actually... Right, maybe I'll bring that one fur back further down, actually. Because the stationary point is at 1 half minus 5, so slightly below it. And the other one, 53 over 10 minus 121 over 5, will be down here somewhere. So let's make them kind of quite make them bold. OK, these are my two stationary points. And so the curve comes down oh, through 2, bounces on the stationary point, through there on the y-axis, through there on the x-axis, and then tends towards the oblique asymptote. So I'm not getting a very good shape of the curve here. Uh, really, that minus 7 half should probably be even further along here to kind of like make it look more accurate. So now, I mean, it's a little bit better, okay? And down here, It's got to look something like that. OK, so that's your 1 half uh, minus 5. And this point is the 53 over 10 minus 1, 2, 1 over 5. OK, and so that is how I can fully sketch this curve and find the stationary points without using calculus.